Hey everyone, welcome back, Crown Geek here. So today in this video, I will be showing the easiest way to install the latest version of Windows 11, that is 24H2, without using any kind of USB drive and without losing any of your data. And this method will be applicable for both supported and the unsupported hardware. So without any further delay, let's quickly get started. Okay, so the very first thing that you will have to do, you need to download the Windows 11 ISO. So bring up any of your browser and you have to search for Windows 11 ISO download. And you will be getting the first website that says download Windows 11 ISO. Click on it. And you can see that it's the latest version 2024 update version 24H2. So here you have to scroll down to the bottom and you'll find download Windows 11 disk image. So click on the drop down here, choose Windows 11 multi edition. Click on download now. Next, it will ask you select the product language. Now here you have to be very careful while upgrading because you need to choose the same product language that you have currently configured on your current operating system that is probably Windows 10. If you are not sure what you can do, click on your Windows search again, type CMD, click run as administrator on command prompt and the black window will be up. Now here you have to type a simple command in order to find your current language and that will be DISM space forward slash online space forward slash get dash intl and once you hit the enter key it will show you your default system ui language and on my end you can see i have en us that is english united states so whatever language you find on your side you have to download the same one so again go back to the windows 11 iso page and choose the same product and i will choose english united states click on continue and then you have to click on 64 bit download so now the downloading of Windows 11 ISO will be started and it's around 5.4 gigabytes. So it may take some time. So you will have to wait until it's all been done. All right. So finally, the Windows 11 ISO has been downloaded. Now you will have to mount this ISO and copy all the files from this location. So what you can do, either you can right click on it and click on mount. And sometimes if the mount method doesn't work for you. Then you can also right click on it and choose the WinRAR to extract all the file of Windows 11 ISO. So I will try with the mount option only. That's very simple. Right click and click on mount. And here you will find all the Windows 11 ISO file. So what you have to do, you need to copy all these file. Select them all. Right click on it and click on copy. And then you have to paste into the C drive. So from the left in menu option, click on this PC. Go to the local disk C. And here in the root location only, you have to paste all this file in a new folder that we will be creating by the name Windows 11. So make a right click here on the blank space over up to new, click folder and name it Win11. I'm keeping it simple so that there should not be any problem. You can also type the same name. Now bring it up and paste all the file that you copied. And it will start pasting all the file and it won't take much time. So again, wait until it's all been done. And bingo, so now you can see that we have pasted all the files of Windows 11 ISO into this new folder of Win11. And now we are ready to install Windows 11 on this machine without using the USB and without losing any of our data. So click on your Windows search, type CMD. Again, click run as administrator so that we should have all the permission. Click on yes. Now at first we have to copy the path where we have created the Win11 folder and pasted all the file. So I will bring up the file explorer. This is the location. And from the top, I will click on it and copy this path C colon backward slash Windows 11 and paste here in the black window. I will also leave this direct path in the description so that you can copy and paste into your command prompt without doing anything. All right, I will make it very simple. So once you have pasted the path, again, you have to type back forward slash setup dot exe space or slash product space server. All right, this simple command I will also leave in the description as I said. And then finally you have to hit the enter key and the Windows installation page will now be up and it says install Windows Server. So you do not need to worry about it. It won't be installing the Windows Server. This will be Windows 11. We are only using the process procedure of installing the Windows Server so that it can bypass everything and we can easily install Windows 11 without using any kind of USB on unsupported hardware as well. Okay, now here you have to click on change house setup download update. And as of now, you have to click on not right now. 
so that we should not have any problem and click on next now it will be checking your pc and you will find that it will easily bypass everything bingo now you have to click on accept choose what to keep so if you don't want to lose any of your data keep this selected to keep file setting and application in case if you want to delete everything then you can go either with the second or the third option then it says ready to install you won't be able to use the pc during the installation so click on install and finally the installation of windows 11 will be started so now we have to just sit and relax until it's all been done all right and bingo now you can see we successfully upgraded and installed windows 11 on unsupported hardware without using any kind of usb and without losing any of our data and you can see the iso we downloaded on the desktop that is still exist and proves that we will not be losing any of our data not any kind of settings or application and you are good to go and enjoy windows 11 now one thing that you can do you can download that file we created in the c drive by the name windows 11 so bring up the file explorer go to this pc local disk c and delete this windows 11 folder that we created we don't need this anymore and it's taking the space so we just we have to delete it so choose the shift and delete key to permanently delete it click on yes and all been done now one thing you have to keep in mind here you find here another folder by the name windows.old now this folder is basically for 10 days if you want to revert back again to windows 10 then make sure that you do not delete this folder from here if you delete it you will not be able to uh, downgrade to windows 10 but after 10 days if you finally decide to stick with windows 11 only then you can go ahead and delete this folder and now let's see in future if you change your mind and you want to downgrade again to windows 10 then how you can do that for that you will have to bring up the settings from the left hand menu option you will have to click on system and in the system is scroll down and you will find somewhere recovery option click on recovery and here in the recovery option you find the go back option and if you click on it getting things ready if you would like to learn more about your feedback you can click on next here and after that following the steps you can downgrade to windows 10 so that's all guys for today and this was the easiest way to install or upgrade to windows 11 without using any usb drive and without losing any of your data and hopefully you enjoyed the tutorial guys if yes make sure that you hit the like subscribe and i see you in the next video Bye bye